Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while. Uh, kind of been slacking, but that's mainly because of my finals, or whatever you want to call them, that I'm doing currently. Um, I'm pretty much done with them, I've just got two tomorrow, and then I'm finished completely for the summer, which will be great. Uh, I just thought, I'm on board, I'll record a quick uh, UU session, I'll just do two or three battles and leave it at that. Um, this team is surprisingly okay. Um, you use not a tier that I play a lot of and I've, I seem to have made a decent team. Um, first of all we have Rafiki just Swords Dance Infernate with Iron Fist. I just wanted something fast and powerful that could just essentially sweep through teams late game if I needed to and it just hits very hard. We then have Choice Garfay's L Physical which is a set that takes a lot of people by surprise, but it's a set that I run almost every time on this Pokemon. I absolutely love this set. Um, it's got so many coverage moves. Uh, you don't have to run Fire Punch. I like. I just like it for stuff like um, Pharaoh, not Pharisee, the other one. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, Fortress, that's it. I like running it for Fortress. Um, U-turn for momentum and all that. And yeah, it's a pretty self-explanatory set. And knockoff because knockoff. We then have the rest talk, Amphros, which is done set. It's possibly one of my favourite sets to use. It's so strong. It it eats up the hits. It rests. It kills someone. It it just does all the work. Then we have a bulky sub Chandelure. This thing, a lot of people don't see the sub coming, and once you get behind it, you just essentially destroy something because of its coverage is pretty much perfect. The only thing that I can think of that can stop it is Umbreon and even then I think it takes a lot of damage from a modest fire blast and if not there's other things on the team to deal with it. Uh, we have a defensive Crocodile, uh, Stealth Rocks, Raw, Taunt and Earthquake. I, sh I was debating on running another status move on this or another coverage move like Knockoff but Taunt just comes in so useful because it's a fast bulky Pokemon and it's it's very very useful. And then we have uh, Big Kenny, uh, just pretty much basic set, I think. Uh, I run Protect just uh, with Toxic Spikes up. If there's a, a poison Pokemon, I can just stall it a bit. And yeah, that's the team. Let's look for a battle. Oh, there's a suspect test going, test going on. I don't know what it's for. That's how informed I am. Alright. Now, let's see. That thing can stop uh, Chandelure if it's special defensive. That thing can stop Chandelure if it's like Assault Vest or not. Not if, uh, not if it's HP invested. Leads either Mamo Swine, Blastoise, or this. Safest lead is as Elf. It's such an easy just to pivot switch. So you go in, even if it's not a good matchup, you just you turn out. There it is. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? <laughs> it, is this common? I don't know. <laughs> that, that was a very strange move. I don't think I've ever seen a fake out on a Mega Blast twice. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's, that's pretty new to me. I... What? I'm confused as to why. Because it has... I guess if it's uh, if he was expecting a sash lead as elf maybe, but still a questionable play in my opinion. That was a very questionable play. If he's fully speed invested, he outspeeds. I don't have much to deal with this. As elf can take the ground hits, he can intimidate, but not really take the ice hits. Looking at his team. I think it's going to be a speedy one because he doesn't have that much speed on it. But I need Crocodile for Ente. Uh, I'm just going to predict the earthquake and switch into Azelf. Yeah, there it is. Um, I don't know what to do more. I think just using it out will be the safe play. And if he's choice, then he won't stay in. All right, time to see if he's choice. That crit definitely didn't matter goes for knockoff. That's definitely attack invested. 
these leftovers. So I'm just going to try and outspeed, hope for the best. Because if he is bulky, I outspeed him and kill him without a doubt. There it is. I, oh, especially defensive. That's interesting. I can I can understand that. A U-turn will definitely take it out. Gives me the momentum. If he wants to try and switch around, if he does something, he's going to get poisoned anyway. If I were him, I'd keep this. Oh no, he wants to sack it. I should. If I were him, I'd have kept it because it just puts in all the work on my team. Um, Amphros is pretty safe. It deals pretty well with most of his team. That's uh, the main problem is I've lost my check to Mega Blastoise. I don't know why I bring this in. I'm not gonna Mega Evolve. And Dragon Pulse, I think, in case he wants to go for the special Dragon move. Predicting my Mega Evolution, there it is. If he specs, I don't think that mattered, but if he's anything else, it definitely did. It still mattered if he was specs. That's very frustrating. That's very frustrating. I could go for a sword stance here. I don't have much to date on Axorus. I don't know how much how I don't know how much uh, boosted Iron Fist boosted sorry uh, Mac Punch would do to him. I'm just going to predict a switch and go for Thunder Punch. There it is. That's good damage. Don't care about the crit. He deserves it. And I'm just going to go for it again. If he switches out, I'm all right with that. If he doesn't, then. Dead Mandibus, it's always a good day. The key things I have to keep alive here are Chandelure, late game to take care of Rente, and uh, as Elf, just purely for speed and momentum. Good, he leaves it in. That's a Dead Mandibus, that means Chandelure's main check is gone, the other one is High Dragon, of course. Speaking of which, uh, this definitely tells me he's specs, or at least choice in some way. He's probably going to Draco Meteor. This thing doesn't do much to the rest of his team, so I'm just going to Mac Punch, see how much it does. That does a lot of damage. I've got, I'm feeling that this is either um, choice scarf or choice specs. Either way, I outspeed it. It's definitely fully speed invested due to how much damage I did there. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, good. He's definitely scarfed, otherwise he wouldn't have stayed in. So that's good. That's one thing dead. Look at the safe, the safest switch I can make. Just gives him a free switch into Blastoise, but I'm alright with that. It means it's racking up poison damage. I need to keep this alive. For those two. Sacking A's elf is looking like the best play possible. Yeah. He went for rapid spin. That's a very questionable play. I'm going to be cheeky, because I think he's just going to go for a Dark Pulse thinking this is special, especially effective. No, I'm not going to risk it. Fight. What is with the hacks in this game? The hacks 
is real. He's got to predict an energy ball. I'm not going to Haxorus. I'm just going to sub. And he stays in. That's fair enough. How much does Shadow Ball do? 45 max. Uh, any energy ball's my safest play. I've got to do it. If he brings in Haxorus, it's straight into Crocodile. If he brings in NT, it's straight into Crocodile. I need to keep this thing healthy. It's the only thing that can really do damage to the rest of his team. I should have kept on for us alive. That crit definitely mattered, and it's very annoying, but not much I can do about it now. Knowing Haxorus is, he's gonna set up. I don't care. Oh, no he doesn't. Alright, I'll take it. Late game rocks? No. I'm just gonna taunt him in case he wants to start setting up. Oh, it's a Dragon Dance set. That's good. That's very good. We can tank this for days. Dragon Claw's not doing much. Earthquake is doing a lot to him. Do I beat this? I beat this one on one if he didn't, provided he doesn't get a crit or a higher roll than that. He got a higher roll than that. I didn't get a crit. Uh, I think that's GG. Yeah, not much I can do about it. He got a higher roll there. If he got a lower one, I could have lived this, but no. That crit on Emperor's really lost me the game. I would, have done, I would have done a lot of damage to that, killed it with a U-turn, and I wouldn't have had to lose either Rafiki or any of those, and he could have dealt better with the rest of his team. You know what happens. Uh, I'm kind of salty about that. Why have I got to zero? Oh, it's because it's suspect te test now. I was high on the UU ladder too. This is why Azelf is so damn good when it's speeded. Uh, when it's scarfed, I mean. It literally one shots Mega Beedrill. Who thinks they outspeed? This is why this Pokemon is good. It's all there is to it. Whenever somebody sees the lead, they go in, they protect, and they think to themselves, I'm good. There's no way he's good. Oh, he's. If this fakes out, I'm gonna consider that, you know, standard or something. Clearly not. Um, what would a Bowser do first to... His name threw me off. I meant to say Blastoise. Uh, either Toxic or something weird. Scald. Alright. First turn burn? No. Alright, good. Um, he can't do literally anything to me. Either he's going to stay in and just rapid spin to infinity and just let me recover back to full health or he's going to switch out into... Maybe Arcan... No, Arcanine wouldn't. Uh, probably Haxorus, I'd say. Which could be scary, but... Uh, I've got that to intimidate it. I should be alright. There's a lot of Haxorus today. I haven't seen it at all in UU for a long, long time. That might be why it's suspect test, I don't know. What How are you doing, sir? I'm just gonna scold. Oh. No, what? What? I like the name. Because it does remind me of the Arbiter. I see where he's coming from with that. I appreciate it. Still doesn't make his play good. Oh. Oh. This person apparently doesn't take nicely to compliments. Okay, I'm gonna leave that running, find another battle, and if if he comes back, then then I'm just gonna have to manage. Key cool. Good luck after. Standard fake out me and shall lead. Fucking hate that thing, but I do beat it one on one with Ampharos. Uh, what can I, what can I lead with? I'm guessing he's gonna lead with that. If he does, Crocodile's a great lead. If he counter leads me, I'm screwed. Still not back. I don't think he'll be coming back. 
Sharpedo. Knowing Sharpedo's, he's just gonna protect to get the speed boost up. That thing matches up so well against my team. It's frustrating. But, not against Ampharos. Speed boost. There's a protect. Thought as much. There you go. Mega Evo charge beam. This is just what you do with this guy. There's a protect. I don't give a shit. All you're doing is getting up speed on a thing that. on a whole team that you already outspeed. Essentially. I don't see why he needed to protect there. Either if he was predicting, I don't know, some kind of janky move, but if I had sub, that was probably the worst play he could ever make. Staying in was probably the worst play he could ever make, but... I'm going to drag and pull some case of switches, watch him protect again. Oh, there it is. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, we make predictions. Um, he's probably going to Earthquake. I know for a fact, unless he's fully speed invested, I speed him with this guy. Intimidated one won't do much damage. There it is. I outspeed him because he got his leftovers after me, and I can just safely earthquake for the kill. Oh, he brings in Suicune. <laughs> Those extra 8 points in attack coming in handy there. His team is just set up, set up, set up. Noibone. <laughs> I'm gonna Dragon Pulse predicting the switch. Can't mind. All right. Do what you like, mate. He's probably gonna rest this turn or next turn. But either way, I'm getting my boosts up. I don't care. He, if he's the rest talk set, there it is. I definitely beat him one on one. He's resto chesto. What is it with missing 90% accurate moves today? Uh, that's the second one. Can't mind all you fucking want. Score did what? 15%? It's going to do 30% at plus. The only. If he gets to plus. Uh, what's that? Plus 4, then I have to rest. Oh, you, uh, you just got owned, sir. He deserved that, I'm sorry. Oh, it has Ice Beam. Crap. Oh. No, you did. If this lives a Thunder Punch, I'm going to kill myself. It should not. So he won that other battle because the guy just straight up left. There's a Thunder Punch kill. Um, what's he going to go into now? Please tell me he's dumb enough to go into Mega Sharpedo. Please tell me he's, he's that dumb. No, alright. Big Kenny. Do your work. Work your magic. Whatever you want to set. Whatever it is that I should say. The problem with this Kenny set is he's completely walled by Toxic Croak. I don't know why he didn't bring it in. Oh no, I haven't shown this guy yet. That does a lot of damage. He's probably spec, so maybe like some Dragon Blade or whatever. He's not gonna stay in, he's gonna go into Toxic Croak safe to say. I'm just going to go into Crocodile Intimidator. If he's a special Toxic Croak, hats off to him. I love that thing. If not, then I should be able to wall it. There we go. Let me think. Special, special, physical, physical, physical. It could be a special one. I'd like to see that, to be honest. Switching to Noivern is so damn obvious. I'm gonna get up my rocks. Yep, thought as much. Big Kenny again. This is what he's here for, just taking the hits. It's Kenny. That's what Kenny does. How, how healthy was that? 29%. Alright. I'm alright with letting this die, that's what it does. If this thing had re reliable recovery, I might- oh! Okay. Don't know what it is with people forfeiting today. It's the lower ladder, I guess. 
Either that or he's predicting me to stay in or something, I don't know. But hey, I'll take it. One last one, providing it's actually a game. And not somebody leaving after like three minutes. Um, Lee is probably Azelf. Everybody leaves Azelf. I'm gonna leave Azelf. <laughs> or Victini, maybe. This team is very, very offensive. Because that thing just is a bulky, fat thing. As always. U turn is my safest play. If it takes him down to his sash or whatever he is, then Rafiki comes in and just back punches it to death. If he U turns as well, then that'll be interesting. But 85% of A's elves are just lead kill myself. Suicide leads, that's the word I was looking for. I've got to count this. Um, A lot of it is suicide lean. How much does a map punch do? No, that that'll kill. Is it risky? It's risky, but he wouldn't go for a psychic. I go. Let's go. There it is, the rocks. Now he's thinking to himself, oh I can kill him, but no, he can't. Fuck you. Oh, he saves it. Alright, that's fair enough. Salamence is scary. Salamence is a very bulky Salamence. If he goes for like a Dragon Dance or something, I'm roaring him out. If he stays in and just Tog 6 or something, then it's a fully defensive one. There's a Dragon Dance. I'm just gonna roar it out. I don't wanna face this. Get out. Yeah, get out. Roar is probably the most useful move. I don't, I think Taunt on this is pretty useless. But hey. Uh, what could this do? Doesn't get much coverage to hit me. Oh, it gets Focus Blast if I remember right. Damn it. This is a problem. He's not going to go for a ghost move. He could explode. YOLO. YOLO, please explode. U turn. Alright, I'll take it. Now he brings in. What, Vic, no, Victini won't deal with me. Beedrill's probably his best switch. Or maybe Salamence. Either way, if he if he tries to kill me, I'm just gonna get off a big hit before. Actually, this completely walls Mega Beedrill, unless it has Drill Run. Is that common? It is, alright. This is definitely a very bulky element. I don't know why he keeps bringing this in. I just wall it for days with this thing. Again, don't know what the hell he's doing. I'm gonna get at my rocks before I roar him out this time. I knew he was gonna do that. It was a very obvious play. I don't have anything to hit this. I'm just gonna roar it out. That thing's getting off a lot of damage. This thing coming in isn't the best of things, to be honest. Kenny resists both of its stabs. Would he draw? No, you'd go for a U turn if anything. How much does it do to Infernape? 24% max. Oh, I, I can take that. He's definitely going to U turn. If he protects, then I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Now he's going to draw one if he has it. Most. I'm, Oh no, Poison Jab will kill me too. Uh, Mac Punch isn't gonna do shit. No. Okay. Cancel that. Oh, damn it, Showdown. Kenny was a better switch there. Why on earth would he U turn? What the hell? What he just did makes zero sense whatsoever.
I, I would have died either way, but it still makes no sense. Dragon Balls onto a Salamence. Dragon Pulse and a regular arm for us doesn't do much. She brings this in. I definitely outspeed it with my eyes off. Unless he is as well is Scarf. So I'm just gonna use him. Um and Frost is probably my safest my safest bet. If we, I think I can live an earthquake from Mega B drill, how much would that do? It does jackal. If I mega evolve mega If I mega evolve it does even less. His best play probably is going into Magneton. I'm completely walled by it. Now he goes into Beedrill. That's a dead Beedrill. Unless he U turns, of course. This is a poison jab. Doesn't do Jackal, and he's dead. That was a very questionable play. I were him, I would have just simply gone into Magneton. It was the hell out of me. This out speeds. I need this for that, so I have to keep it around. I'm gonna have to sack something here. If he DDs though, if I and I switch out, it's pretty much GG. I'm gonna go into this guy, try and get a burn on it. If he DDs, that is. Dragon Claw does way too much. Salamence is scary, man. It's got enough speed to outspeed this. I don't know if it's... No, it's base speed isn't that high. So... I'm guessing he's speed invested in some way. And it's just that bulky. What's its base stats? I forget. You're playing with fire, bro. I, I'm gonna get a burn. I don't care what you say. Get a fucking burn, Kenny. Be useful for once. Oh my god. If if I were in his place, I would have been burned like three times over by now. Even though I was hit by only two squads. Get a fucking burn! Oh my god. I know I shouldn't be mad because it's only like a small percentage chance or whatever, but for fuck's sake. It... What? <sighs> this was a very bad session. I got wrecked twice by sweeping dragons because they're fun. I should have a fairy on this team. I don't, even, I don't even know what he'd go for. Salamence is OP, dude. <laughs> Salamence is OP. <laughs> uh, he definitely outspeeds this. There's nothing I can do. In before. Not fully speed invested, and I outspeed even though I'm just scar. No. I take the sweep like a man, I'm not gonna forfeit. I really need a fairy or a steel type. I might switch out Crocodile for an Agron. What? 
Oh, if only I'd sub. Or got a crit. If I got a crit, that would have been hilarious. What is this man on about? You can't see the end of it, but that's dead people can't play. What? I'm not sure how long I've been going on for. I'm just going to end it here. If it's not enough, I'll record one more battle. I think it should be though. This is probably the last you'll see with me in a while. I'm going back to the UK to see my parents soon. So, I... I'll probably still be a bit active on Twitter, not as much as usual. But yeah, on that note, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, even though the battles were pretty much crap. Um, this team is quite fun. As you can see, I was not expecting Sweeping Dragons to do that much damage to me. I've never had such a problem. Uh, it's made me realise that I probably need to run a Steel type or a Fairy type in UU, because there's too many of them. Hydreigon, there's a uh, freaking Salamence and Haxorus. I'm guessing Garchomp is still OU because it always has been. Um, yeah, on that note, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one, whenever that is. <laughs>